Hey everybody. Um, I just want to put a video out there because there's a lot of people getting stressed about what's going on and there's a lot of people getting hit really hard with these weapons, okay? They do that until they figure out that they cannot use you. They're trying to actually human traffic people for like protest, revolution, and war, okay? So what we want to try to do is we want to try to stay calm. Um, as soon as like I stopped reacting to that kind of stuff, a lot of it went away. I started just doing christian practices basically and um and spiritual warfare and then a lot of that stuff you know stopped like i've been through a lot of these hard hard attacks where they're attacking different body parts or like burning your face and you wake up with your lips swollen burnt i've been through all that um I see a lot of people going through that right now, too. And I want to let you know that there is hope at the end of the tunnel. Don't give up. Stay calm because it will pass. And when people say this stuff doesn't stop, I don't believe that's true either. I think they're trying to human traffic a lot of people. And when they figure out that they're wasting their time with you, they will go move on to the next one. Okay? A computer system will <clears throat> continuously keep trying, you know, to, to bother people. But I think... You know, as far as um, the real directed attacks, like on your person, you know, by a person, that is not worth their time if it's useless. So, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that. And we need to try to stay calm during the war, too, because we can't do anything about it. Like, I can't crawl through the computer and go to Gaza or any of that. I mean, God has given me on my plate the things that I need to do like grow food i'm gonna be growing a garden try to grow a garden this spring take care of my dog take care of the cats you know try to grow food and have chickens for eggs for my friend and i in a garden for us so if that's what god puts on your heart don't feel bad just do exactly what he puts on your heart because not everybody's going to go out and fight the war and we don't really know what's going to happen. I mean, as far as I know, Jesus could come <laughs> through the clouds tomorrow. I don't know. So <clears throat> just keep your mind um, steady and stay relaxed because it's very sad what's going on. It is very, very sad. But us worrying about it or getting upset about it is not going to stop it. It's not going to stop it. And it's not going to do anything about it. So... It is what it is, and the men need to wake up, especially the women listening to this, really. <laughs> you do what you do already. You tell people what's going on, and that's enough. You know, we can't do everything. The, it, the world is not on our shoulders by ourselves, okay? It's really not. So believe me, I tried for years <laughs> to take this burden on my shoulders and try to lead it to a certain conclusion. And so, you know, us getting free so we're just gonna have to wait and see what god brings us you know he's gonna he's got the plan we don't have the plan our job is waiting and taking care of ourselves and the people around us right now that's our job right now so take care of your families hug your families do your gardens get your chickens get your stuff going just in case it's a good skill to learn anyway i'm glad i get to learn these things because it is something that's being lost with grocery stores you know people are losing um knowledge on how to do this like i don't know any of it i gotta look it all up so i learned a lot from lancho you know the mexicans do farming and they do you know animal husbandry so i learned a, a very lot from him and that's you know what i'm going to be trying to implement and then plus you know studying still more and more and more and more to figure out everything you know so anyway and i know a lot of us are pretty young i mean we're not 90 years old we're going to live through the war we're going to be here when the wars are over a lot of us you know so it is what it is. I know <laughs> that saying is one of the, the enemies saying too, but I actually, I don't like letting them have everything. I don't like them having the rainbow. I don't like letting them have every saying. I don't like them owning basically every word that we're allowed to speak, you know? So that's all we can be ourselves, you know, just be yourself and um, don't let them control you. Don't let them control you. That's the main thing. And keep studying, keep learning, keep your mind busy. It's okay to know what's going on. I was listening to the news just now, and it's horrific. 
it's horrific. But what, you know, honestly, what can I do about it? Nothing. I've called my representatives, you know, a large part of the United States government is trying to oppose what's going on. They're trying to slow down Israel and it's not working because in a war, unfortunately, the bigger bully is the one that wins. When it's a physical war, that's the way it is. So if you want to win it, you're going to have to be the bigger bully, you know, and then people, you know, don't understand the past of when even the Catholic Church has had to stand up. Now the Catholic Church is infiltrated by the bad guys, and we're having a really difficult time. <laughs> they don't just leave if you ask them. They don't just leave if you know who they are. You know, if you write to them and they know who you are and you know who they are, they don't just leave. You know, it's a war. So we're going to wait for God's instructions and see, you know. And when I say God's instructions, I don't mean like what he actually says to you, like he's talking to us or something. I just mean like, you'll know, you'll know. Like if you feel you should be gardening right now, then do that because that's what I feel. I feel like I'm supposed to just calm down and take care of my day-to-day -day activities. Um, you know, it is what it is, you know, like they say. So we got to deal with the cards we're dealt and know that God really is in full control. I was afraid of this too, because I know their plan. Their plan is to make everyone disillusioned with Christianity and hate the churches so they can bring in their new world order, God or religion, whatever it is. So that's their plan. They're following through with it, it looks like. But um, the only thing we really need to do is just be ourselves, stay stay p true to ourselves and, and do what we feel is God is putting on our hearts to do right now. And you'll know when he puts something else on your heart, you won't be able to stay silent. <laughs> you will not. You'll be like, blah, 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 you know. So anyway, that's what it is. I just hope everyone stays calm and just know, um, you know, what you can do, what you can't do and do what's best for your family right now. That's what you need to do. Because charity starts at home. You need to do what's best for the ones directly around you right now. And, you know, your your husband, your wife, your children, your animals, your city, whatever, you know, going up from there. We can't just reach into Gaza and, and do all these things. And I feel really bad because I always get requests for money and stuff. And it's like, I can't even, I can't even do that. I mean, there's so many, you know. And then on top of that... We don't know when our government's going to fully turn on us and like claim that we are the terrorists because we're sending money to Gaza. You know, we never know about that. And we have to fight our own war too. We're all in this war. Oh, my cat's jumping up on the screen. Hey, you're not coming out, babies. Anyways, I got my kitties in there. It's a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. The sun is shining and uh, just had breakfast. Made a big soup, chicken soup the other day. And I've been eating it for days. I'm already kind of war um, war ready, I guess you would say. I just stick a big old chicken in the soup and I cook it. And then every day you add more vegetables and you just keep cooking the same pot. You don't have much time for anything else. I mean, I'm already um, been doing that for years. So there's that. Okay. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing good. And I just want to wanted to say hello and say, stay calm, guys. You know, what's going to happen? I mean, Jesus could come back tomorrow for all we know, you know. I expect him. <laughs> I expect him now just because of everything that's going on. But he's not going to He's not gonna come back, I don't think, when it's, like, expected. You know, it's going to be, like the Bible says, like, we won't be expecting it, and he's just going to be here. <laughs> so, you know, when you stop expecting it, he's probably around the corner. Anyway, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Bye.